Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use Trivia Maker with Zoom or Skype or with any other virtual meeting software that allows you to share your screen. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure you have a game that you want to play. So we'll go to TriviaMaker.com. So when you first start, you're going to have to launch Trivia Maker right here. And then it's going to ask you to either sign in or register. You can sign up through Facebook or just sign up with your email. So I'm going to log in. And then you're just going to choose a game that you want to display inside of your meeting. So I'm going to use a feud type of a game here. I've already created this. I'm not going to show you how to make the game. That's in other tutorials, but it's real simple. You can just go in and add content and do different things like that. So just put a couple sample questions in here. So what you want to do is click this giant play button, and then it gives you three options on how to display this. And we're going to go with the basic option. I'll go over the controller and the presenter option later. That basically gives you two windows, one with the answers, and then one is the view that they see. Um, but we'll talk about that later. So we'll go with just basic for now. I'll turn the volume just down so you can hear me. So it opens with kind of a theme song. You can always mute it right here. So again, this is your mute button. These are your different sound effect buttons. So you have like a sad, a happy, a theme, you can mute them, or you can throw up like wrong answer strikes right there. Um, you can take one away like that, and then you can just go into the different rounds. So it's pretty simple. You kind of click to advance, or you can click the Q or the A. Um, I'm going to click here, and then I can just basically, as the people in the room say the answers, then you can just click on whichever ones they said, like that. So pretty simple, and then when they basically, somebody gets these points, you can assign these points to somebody, and we'll give them to one of the teams over here. So it's basically, that's how you do it, it's pretty simple. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go back here, and we'll do round two when we bring it up in the game, so. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is just go ahead and start your meeting. So you already have this all queued up and ready to go, it's, you leave it in the background, and then when you start your meeting, um, you can just go new meeting. All right, so then we got the meeting right. going. Basically, I'm going to show you what you're going to do if you're in this meeting and you have it full of people. Um, so it's pretty simple. What you want to do is you want to go right here, go share screen, and then you just want to click the one that you want, which is you want this one right here, Google Chrome. So I'm going to click that, and now um, on the other screen, they will be seeing what I have right here. So um, one thing you might want to note is that um, when you play songs, they probably can't hear it. So you're hearing it, but on their end, they're probably not hearing it. So what you need to do is there's actually a setting where you go in here and you go to more and you click on this, where you click share computer sound. Um, that is key. You might also click optimize screen share for video clip. A share computer sound and we'll click this. This way we're getting the best that we have. Um, so what you can do is you just go in there and now if I click you know play the song they can hear it. They can still hear my voice. My voice is a little bit quieter but with that enabled they'll be able to hear it. And then you just go through the rounds and so you click here which states do we have the most clients in and then um, you can click the answer. Now, a lot of people are asking like, well, how do I know where the answers are? So I'm gonna give you a quick workaround so you can see where those answers are. Um, or I'm gonna show you the second way, which is using the controller and the presenter. But the first easy way is basically you print out the answers. I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. So this is our game right here. So all I need to do is go print right here. This will give me a PDF or a web browser that shows me the answers right here. And so let's say we were on this question right here. Shrink this down right here. So now I have round two. And what I can do is just place this right here. Or you could print this out and have it on your desk because you can just look down and see the answers. Um, but if you didn't want to print it out, then all you need to do is go back into this and maybe move this a little bit, maybe shrink it. And doing this doesn't actually really affect the view of the other people. And so even if I were to shrink it 
like this much and then I still have my answers right here um, that way somebody shouts out California and I can look and on my screen I know it's right here so I can click it right there so that's a kind of a workaround which is just to um, go down and go to your preview and go to your actual game and click on the print button and then use that as a reference you can either print it out or you can use it um, all right now the second thing that I'm going to show you right now is kind of like a more advanced so I'm going to stop sharing for a minute um, go back into here and this is the second thing that you can do is actually use the presenter and the controller so basically it's two different windows so what it's going to do is this right here this is my presenter window I'm going to make it be its its own little window right there and then I'm going to launch the controller right here and so what I need to do is now show this code 565431 565431 now I use this browser to control this game right here and so I'll pause music So this is pretty cool. So watch this. I have these two browsers open, right? Um, and in the game, they're not seeing it yet, but here's what I do. I go here, I go to share screen, um, and now I use the one right here, the uh, web app. I click on this one. It's the one that doesn't have the little sound effects, if you're trying to tell which one to share. The one that does not have the sound effects and the controls and all these, the one that has the background image, that's the one I'm gonna share. So now I share that and this is what everybody is seeing is this screen right here and even when I click on this you can see even when I click on this they're still seeing I'll show you the view on the iPad here in just a sec here and I can still see them and I can go round one and I can you know play it through give me an example and I can see on my list where the answers are but in their view all they're seeing is this so when I click on one, see right there, all they saw is this. And I'll show you the view on the uh, other screen on the iPad. So I'm clicking on this. So that way I don't have to memorize it. I don't have to print it out. But I do have to just use two browsers. One is the controller window and one is the browser window. So play around with that. But that's what I would do. You know, get some points out. Go back in here. Next round. and this is what they're seeing so i click here which states do we have the most clients and i can see the answers right here and they don't see them because i'm using two browsers this one being the controller and this one being the presenter i'm only sharing the tab that has the presenter window in it so now as they're shouting out things in the meeting i can click on them and review them so there you have it guys that is a quick and easy way how to use Trivia Maker with Zoom or Skype or any of those screen sharing virtual cloud meeting platforms. Um, there's a lot of new things that we're working on, new game styles. The Wheel of Fortune one will be done here really quick. We're adding the ability to add in a bunch more teams and uh, just a bunch of cool features. So hope you guys can use this to spice up those, you know, those, those conference calls and those virtual meetings and just um, keep that team motivated and engaged throughout whatever we're going through. So hope you guys like it.